Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of North Light Images, and this is one of my short videos about aspects of running a business as a photographer. And uh, usually they're based on questions people have asked me about business aspects of photography. Now, this one is about putting all your eggs in one basket. Should you do work for on-demand photo businesses? Um, somebody asked me about this a few weeks ago and I was spotted this morning a, an article somewhere saying that yet another one of these photo businesses that had sprung up that offers to provide a photography service, i.e. making things easy um, for potential clients to find a photographer. Not that it's particularly difficult for most people if they actually look. Um, but another one had gone into insolvency. Now there was one in Italy, one in uh, Germany, one took the other run over, uh, various things, they ran out of money, couldn't get investment, so, you know, they folded. Is that a bad thing? Well, if you're one of the photographers who's left with unpaid invoices or something like that, then it's a very bad thing. If that was just a small part of your business and you did the occasional bit of work via something like that because you had the time and the money came in, then it's not necessarily that bad a thing. It's annoying when you don't get money and you lose money for things, but you allow for that if you're going to be in a business. It happens. It's not going to stop happening. But if that company was the entirety or a large proportion of your business, then you can have serious problems. You should look at a mix of business. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm uh, an architectural photographer, but that's not all I do at all. I do industrial photography. I do all kinds of commercial photography as well. They tend to be more technical types of photography. They are not things like wedding photography, portrait photography, dealing with the public type photography. I don't do those. Um, you know, I have respect for people who do them, but I just have got the patience. I would not be someone you'd want to photograph your wedding. Um, no, probably not a good idea at all, really. I do architecture, machinery, all kinds of things. I do photograph people, but they tend to be like this. And uh, there's two guys staring into a furnace uh, with suitable protective gear and stuff. Um, so when people say, oh, Keith doesn't do photography of people, not quite true, I do, but they tend to be at work. So what about these commodity photo businesses? Now, I wrote an article about seven years ago um, about the Uberization of photography, about these intermediaries coming in. Um, they're offering uh, potential clients an easy service. We'll find you a photographer at a fixed rate or something like that. Well, you have to be very careful. And I, I was looking through some of the terms and conditions of this business. Candid dot ly. Uh, they're not around anymore, or if they are, they've changed massively. Um, I looked at some of the terms and conditions. You don't get paid that much. Um, these are cheap jobs. And you should always remember that if somebody hires you because you're cheap, this goes for any aspect of your photography business, uh, not just going through these intermediaries, but if somebody hires you because you're cheap, they will drop you for the same reason. Remember, just because, and this is one I discovered the hard way many years ago, um, I discounted a job because it was of a client I wanted. Um, then when I came back to them and said what the proper rates were, they said, why have your rates gone up so much? My fault for offering a discount at the start. It's one of the reasons that Karen runs the business side of uh, North Lake Images, and I'm not allowed to give quotes over the phone. Um, I can point to our prices, but I'm not allowed to give quotes because if I have a job that I really, really fancy doing, I'm far too inclined to uh, be generous on the pricing. I shouldn't, but it's that sort of, oh, I really fancy doing that or something. It's easily done. That's why we have, some, have, we have processes for having new business and for engaging new clients. If you go via these third parties, quite often you are just work for hire. That means you have no rights over the photographs you take. Well, you might think, well, these are nothing much photos. Why should I be bothered if I don't keep copyright? I'm not going to use them again. What about if you take some great photos and you want to use them for your portfolio going forward as a business? You may find that you've got no rights whatsoever to use the photos, that literally you're being paid to go out there, 
hold a camera up and press the shutter. All your expertise and everything else counts for nothing. Supposedly you're getting paid for it. I notice most of these don't pay terribly well because obviously the company that's in the middle needs to take their cut and they will do their utmost to separate you, them and the client. And in fact, they may have specific terms and conditions that stops you talking with a client without involving them. So how are you really going to build up client relationships? And if you're interested in a photography business that's going to last, it's about building up client relationships. Now, with client relationships, always remember you're building relationships with people, not necessarily the company. So people can change at a company. I've had a client that we've worked with for years. Suddenly the people I've been dealing with moved away, one retired, one moved into another part of the company and they no longer have any responsibility for photography. Somebody new gets moved into that role. They're new, they're trying to make their mark. First thing they're gonna do, oh, uh, this, this guy here who we've, is, we've been using for years, um, let's see if we can beat him down on price. That attitude is wrong, but it's perfectly natural. Uh, people do it. It depends on the, you know, how the business works. But in that case, uh, this was quite a few years ago, uh, I lost a, a client because the people I knew no longer had any connection with getting photography. And the people who come in, well, they knew people and they knew some people who do it on the cheap and things like that. That made the message. It made absolutely no difference that the people they got in produced, and I've seen them, some absolutely rubbish photos. Didn't really matter. Just goes to show it's not always the quality of your photography that counts in getting work. It's about developing value for your clients. Um, whatever you do, make sure that your services are of value to clients. And that's very difficult to do if you're doing any one of these photography on demand services. They are a commodity. Now, treat it as something that you can use to earn a bit of money. As I said, if you're free and you, know, you think, well, all right, I'll do that at least I've earned some money for it. But be very careful that you don't get sucked into it. Read the terms and conditions carefully and don't let them stretch you out for long periods of uh, not getting paid. Check up with other people on the payment because these companies can disappear as quickly as they do appear. Um, so always be careful with it. But it's, you know, if you're going to be developing your own photography business, go into it with your eyes open. It's a business like any other business. And the moment you're paying intermediaries, you're losing potential profit. So you don't really want to be well, because they have the control. So you don't really want that. So uh, previously I would have said, you know, don't give, don't even go near these sorts of things. I'm a bit more realistic about it now and I accept that in today's conditions, sometimes you need the money um, and do it for that. But make sure you're clear, you understand why you're doing this work. Try and work out ways which you can use it to develop a career if that's what you want. If you're just doing this just because you have some time and you want to earn some money, well, fair enough. Um, maybe it will earn you some money, maybe it won't. Um, Anyway, I hope that's of some interest. As I've got lots of videos. There's an entire uh, section, a uh, playlist of videos devoted to business aspects of photography, selling prints, all kinds of things like that. So please do feel free to ask questions in the comments and like, and I'll put a link to that uh, original article I had. It's worth having a look through for some of the terms and conditions that were associated with the company I mentioned at the time. But uh, thanks for watching. If you find them in, please do subscribe. Tell other people about the channel. It is appreciated. Thank you.